Tupac's Pac's sister and brother have finally broken their silence around the arrest of Dwayne Keith D. Davis in connection to their brother's killing, and both are clearly feeling a flood of emotions. In a statement posted to Instagram on Friday, September 29, Pac's sister Sekiwa said Shakur shared that while she was pleased forward motion was happening in connection to her brother's killing, she didn't want to jump to conclusions. This is no doubt a pivotal moment, she began. The silence of the past 27 years surrounding this case has spoken loudly in our community. It's important to me that the world, the country, the justice system, and our people acknowledge the gravity of the passing of this man, my brother, my mother's son, my father's son. She continued, his life and death matters, and should not go unsolved or unrecognized, so yes, today is a victory but I will reserve judgment until all the facts and legal proceedings are complete. There have been multiple hands involved and there remains so much surrounding the life and death of my brother Tupac and our Shakur family overall. We are seeking real justice, on all fronts. Pac's brother Mopreem, meanwhile, echoed his sister's feelings on News Nation, noting that he was cautiously optimistic about what could come from Davis's arrest. I'm taken aback after so many years of dealing with this trauma, he said to News Nation host Chris Cuomo. I'm cautiously optimistic. Any accountability at this point is good for us. It helps us heal. But Mopreem also told Cuomo that he was disappointed in the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for taking so long to act on what he thought were pretty obvious clues about Davis's alleged role in the murder. This guy has been out there. He's been doing podcast interviews, YouTube. He's not writing a book, he wrote a book. They've known the whole 27 years that he was in the car, he said. I know that in any case, you receive a lot of clues. Well, why didn't they follow up on that then? Dwayne Keith D. Davis was arrested Friday morning, September 29th, and will be arraigned on October 4th for the murder of Tupac. He remains in custody without bail as of this writing.